What's going on my fellow graphic designers? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm showing you guys how you can make a background just like the one in my Twitter starter pack video. I've been getting a lot of requests for that. So that's what I'm gonna bring you guys today. It's super simple, but it looks really nice at the same time. So without further ado, let's get started. So once you're at photopea.com or Photoshop, you could do this in either one, go to new project. And for the size, we're gonna do whatever you want. Uh, don't copy me unless you're making a Twitter header, make it for whatever you're doing. Um, you could always scale it up if you make it this size, but it's going to be 1500 by 500. So just make sure you choose the right size for you, then hit create. So we're just going to be using the pen tool for this whole tutorial. And um, that's basically it. So go ahead and get your pen tool. Change your fill to any color. Make sure you're on shape and you just want to click and start making your shapes. So I'm going to click here, go kind of diagonal, hold shift and then go down and then connect back to your start. There's our first shape. Now you just want to keep doing that. Basically change the fill so you can see the difference between them. You don't want them all to blend together. You're probably going to have to retry it a few times because it's kind of hard to get it right the first time. The shapes are turning out pretty good. Now we're going to scan. I didn't mean to do that. See, that's what it would look like if you didn't change the color. It looks crazy. So move that down. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this part right here. I think it's fine because imperfections make it look good sometimes. So we're just going to leave that. And we're actually almost done with this. So we're going to add one more. And uh, we're actually going to make this shape uh, like light blue or something. And then we'll make this next shape red. We'll do kind of the same thing. We let's try this. We'll see how this looks. It might look kind of crazy. I'm not sure how that's going to look. I was thinking about trying something a little bit different. Anyways, let's just try this anyways. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Actually, um, we're going to change the colors. So don't worry about that. Let's delete any extra shape layers. We don't need. Okay, now let's start getting the colors right for the first top left shape. Double click on it and add a gradient overlay. We're going to change the angle. So it's like that. And I think, let's see, let's change the color from light blue. And then we're going to add another one right here. So just click here and then we're going to make it a darker blue. And then this one's going to be a light blue, like down here. Let's make this darker. Kind of like that. Hit OK. And I just realized something I'm going to do. So one second. Um, yeah, that's, that's good there. And we're going to actually make another shape. I forgot to make one. Make this whatever and just start here. Go down. Obviously, you don't have to copy me unless you're trying to make the same background, but you should just use this tutorial to make your own. All right. That's what I wanted. Use my arrow key to move it down a bit. Okay, it looks pretty cool. Now we're going to add the gradient overlay on this one as well. And you can see now it has a cool effect. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks pretty cool. It adds some depth, I guess. Here, we're going to change this green one to just a color. It's going to be a dark blue like that. The color code is this right here if you want to copy it, but I might change it later on. Okay, now we got the light blue one. We're going to make that one white. And then we're going to make the last one a the same color as this one. We're going to add a stroke and we're going to make the stroke the same color as this light blue over here. Like that. It looks pretty insane. Um, if I'm being honest, it probably could look better, but it's kind of hard to recreate it. Add a gradient overlay on the background layer now. So it kind of matches the whole theme, but you might want to change it. Maybe reverse it. I didn't do anything. 
Um, trying to think of what I want to do. I think I want to make the middle one the light blue and then make it the sides the darker blue and then just adjust the scale like that maybe um, I'm also gonna add like a square let me move this one a little bit with my arrow keys okay I'm gonna add like a square right here or something let's try it so right here here, 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 yeah, and then I'm going to move it down. It's just little things. You can just keep adding on to it and it'll make it look better. So which one is this? This one? Let's add a gradient overlay. So let's uh, do what we did originally. So this is going to be the dark. The sides are going to be the light blue. Hit okay. Hit okay. Turn the scale down. Make it a lighter blue. Okay, now I'm going to add more to this. So let's make a new shape. Hold on. Right there. It's just going to add more depth to it. Like that. And we're just going to add the gradient on this as well. But we're going to reverse it. And you'll see why. I forgot we're going to do that with this one too. It makes it stand out more. So let's go ahead and do that for this one as well. Change this one where it's light in the middle. Dark on the outsides. And you can see it makes it stand out a lot more. You can adjust the scale as well if you want. There's so much you can do with it, but it's all up to your imagination. Um, I think we might be done with this side. So once you're done with the, the first side, uh, just basically combine all of them. Hold shift, click on all of them, or hit control and click on all of them. And then you want to right click on any of them and hit convert to smart object. But once you do this, you can't edit them individually unless you do that. But okay, now hit control J, control alt T, and then flip it by right clicking on it, flip it horizontally. And then we're just going to use our arrow key and shift. And you can do something like this, or you can move it down. We got to flip it vertically as well if we want to do that. So it looks something like this. Um, it's completely up to you. So let's see. The tricky part is getting them to be the exact same. I definitely need to move it more up like that. I'm just trying to make sure they're the same on each side. All right, so basically just want to line it up like that. Now I can see like an imperfection right here. So I can kind of use that to my advantage actually to figure out how far I need to make that one. All right, so we got that part. And now it's really just, you can add a hue and saturation adjustment layer, change the colors, but it doesn't look that great. I would do that from the start instead of doing it after. And I mean, we could add some things to give it more depth. So let me try something. This might look completely ridiculous. Um, I don't really have too much experience with backgrounds, so obviously I'm not the best, but I'm going to start practicing more with them, seeing what I can make. So there we go. That's the background, I guess. You can add more to it if you want. I don't really know what else I'd add to this one. I tried recreating my other one, which is kind of hard to do, actually. And, um... I think that's all I got for you guys today. So you would just export it as like a PNG or a JPEG. That's up to you. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and make a lot of other content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.